Welcome everybody to this um, online international workshop organized by the Department of Early Childhood Education at the Education University of Hong Kong. My name is Alfredo Bautista and I am Associate Professor and Associate Head of Internationalization in the ECE Department. And I'm very excited um, that so many international colleagues are joining us for this event today, this event that we call Interconversations. Um, just to give you a little bit of background, Interconversations is a series of online events that our internationalization team in the EC department has been organizing in these past years um, to keep the early childhood education community engaged, especially during these pandemic times, especially because today in Hong Kong and also in mainland China, we are still having important, important travel restrictions. So we are really doing these events to, to keep the community talking. So it's really great to bring so many people together today for this seminar. Thank you very much for your interest. Um, so the topic of today's session, as you can see on the screen, is music, music therapy in early childhood classrooms, strategies for teachers to enhance inclusivity. Um, so just to give a little bit of a little bit of background, right? So as you know, music is a universal language that exists in all cultures around the world. The use, the use of music in early childhood education classrooms in, is very, very common. Uh, firstly, music is very important in itself, but it's all, music is also beneficial for many other areas of child development and for holistic um, development. Children enjoy music very, very much, and normally, regardless of their level of abilities, they all can participate in music activities. Um, and besides, all children can highly benefit uh, from music activities, right? And this is especially true for children who have special educational needs, or SEN in short. Um, so music is a very powerful way to include every student in the classroom, uh, regardless of their abilities, competencies, and educational levels and needs. And teachers actually can purposefully use music activities to enable all children to participate and contribute in, in equal ways in the classroom. So this is because music goes way, way beyond words. Um, children who have trouble communicating or understanding or demonstrating developmentally age-appropriate behaviors, these children may find themselves being very fully capable of responding to music, creating or improvising with music and sound, and joining themselves, of course, and also learning together in the classroom as a community. So through incorporating this kind of music activities in the classrooms, um, every child can actually participate equally um, with others as full members of the classroom community. So the question is, um, how can teachers, how can early childhood education teachers use music as an enhancer of inclusivity for children, for children especially with special needs, right? So for children with varying needs and abilities. So to answer this question, today we have invited Mr. King Mang Chung to often offer this interconversation seminar today. Hi, King Mang, I can see you connected. Uh, so, so hello. So good to see you today. So good to see you, man. Good to see you. So Mr. Kim Mang Chung is a registered music therapist, and he's also the founder of the International Music Therapy Center here in Hong Kong. Kim Mang was a speaker, a guest speaker in our last conversation, intra-conversation seminar forum that we organized in April, uh, in April this year. So many participants were very, very interested in his presentation, and they asked for they asked a lot of follow-up questions, and they really told us that they wish they could learn more from Kim Mang. So we decided to invite him back uh, for this seminar today to conduct conduct this workshop. So thank you so much, King Mang, for accepting the invitation of our department. So before we get started, I would like to, to just share a, a little bit of information today. So for today, we have 400 participants registered in total, although here connected, we have for now only 177. Um, 
this is common, this happens all the time. We will send them the video later on, the video of the presentation, right? So, so the participants, we have are many colleagues from Hong Kong, many colleagues from mainland China, also from many other countries around the region in Malaysia, Singapore, Cambodia, of course, many colleagues from Cambodia, I know many of them. And also we have colleagues from the Middle East, Africa, colleagues from Australia, Europe, and the Americas also. So I suppose many of those are the ones we didn't connect because it's not a good time for them, unfortunately. So many thanks everybody for your interest and it's so great to see you here virtually and also to establish this uh, connection with all of you. So as I mentioned before, King Man founded the International Music Therapy Center in 2013 here in Hong Kong, which, and this is the first social enterprise in Hong Kong dedicated to the promotion of music therapy. Right. Uh, King Man completed his master's in, of music therapy at the University of Queensland, and he's a registered music therapist. He provides normally therapy sessions, uh, workshops and trainings at hospitals, universities and NGOs, and uh, focusing on servicing, pe servicing people with special education needs and also cancer patients, stroke survivors and their families. He's very well known in Hong Kong. Uh, King Man is a clinical tutor of the University of Melbourne and also an honorary advisor of the Cancer Information Charity Foundation. He has received um, a lot of media coverage, more than 100 me media coverages for his work. And recently, uh, he has also received the Smart Living Award in 2021 for his outstanding innovative music mental well wellness application, right? So, well, without further ado, please let's welcome Mr. Um, King Mang Chung. So, King Mang, the floor is yours. You can go ahead and share with us your screen. And thank you so much. Thank again. you okay. for uh, having me today and introducing me today. And uh, and I, I think you, you got a very good uh, introduction. And you talk about like how uh, music can invite everyone to participating, like participate equally. And this is what I believe in music as well, and and also in music therapy, and and um, yeah, and yeah, I, I I'm going to talk more about like how I use music and music therapy in the uh, for uh, SCN children and also in the classroom today, and how to use music to include everyone together, and and yet uh, I I'm Kingman and I'm a registered music therapist and also neurologic music therapist, and. Here are some pictures of me working with my students with um, uh, ASD, uh, physical disabilities, ADHD, uh, cerebral palsy, and they are all studying at special school from from three years old to twenty years old. And after all assessment, we often do song singing, music movement improvisation, songwriting during the sessions to address emotional, cognitive, motor, social and communication needs. So these are the pictures here and I would like to, before we start talking about what is music therapy and how to use music in the classroom, uh, I would like to invite all of you to think and what can you think of when you are looking at these pictures? You can type on the chat room. Yep. So what can you think of when you are looking at these pictures? Songs, yep, I can see in the chat room songs, pop music, media, communications, how we listen to the music, sensory. Oh, yep, Jackie Chan, <laughs> entertainment. Yep, yeah, I like that there's, the, someone say um, music is everywhere. Relax, fun, TV, music has no boundaries. Oh, oh very good. Voice from radio, you know. Um, communications, great. Yeah, we we like as as you as you said that um everywhere we can we have music in like in every place everywhere. We when we are going to shopping mall, uh, they have music in shopping mall. When when Christmas is coming, the shopping mall will play the Christmas songs so that you know to to make you feel oh Christmas is coming and Santa Claus is coming to town and you're going to buy some uh, you know Christmas gift and things like that and when you go to a restaurant they play music as well especially when you, when we go to fine dining um, 
we have, we have a stick and you know they play some soft slow music and make you feel more relaxed and more chill and uh yeah and music is affecting our mood and is help us to create the atmosphere that's right so music is everywhere when we are baby we listen to the lullaby we listen to the mom's heartbeat when when we are still an infant, a newborn. When we are growing up, we listen to the pop music. We may have our favorite artists or singers we like, and we always listen to their songs. And we go to, when we go to shopping mall, restaurant, they play music. When we watching TV, or even now YouTube, social media, they have a lot of music. Music is around us. But what would life be without music? Yep. Boring, 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 boring. <laughs> Silence. Sad. No moving. Yeah, sometimes music. Today we are, we are going to sing a lot of songs, we play songs, and you will find that music can motivate us. You know, we motivate us to sing, we motiv motivate us to participate, and we also use the music to motivate the children to do vocalization, verbalization, and movement as well. So music is about motivation as well. No stimulation, right? Like a picture without colors. Meaningless. Awesome. Well, what fell music speak? Without music, life would be a mystic. And today we are going to talk about uh, we are going to talk about what is music therapy and which student can benefit most from music therapy and how can we apply purposeful music activities in classroom to enhance inclusivities and why we have to care about music therapy and also at, at last and I would like to share some music activities and there will be cover social communications motor attentions and creativities and and this activity I hope that you can use it and take away into your classroom and yep so this is what I'm going to cover today so when we when we, we know music is very important in our life and what is music therapy according to Australian music therapy associations music therapy is a research based that practiced and we use music to help our participants to support them to improve their health functioning and well-being so music therapy we need to have a therapeutic goal so when we're talking about therapeutic goals is related to the social emotional uh, motor cognitive uh, etc and the music uh, the therapeutic goals is also a non-musical goals so which means that we are not teaching people or our students to play the music uh, perfectly this is a musical goals we are helping our, our student to maybe express their feeling through a songs or through a therapeutic singing etc music therapy is an evidence and scientific scientific based practice and need to be planned and organized and everyone have individuals dy dynamic process which means that uh, there is no songs is um, um, 100 percent healing of one disease there is not there is no research talking about this so everyone is different we have different feeling when we listen to the same songs so because we are different we are grow up differently when I listen to the sounds of the oceans I feel calm but when I share the uh, ocean the, the ocean wave sounds to my parents they find it's very creepy they associate to goals and you know associate to other things so everyone are different and everyone uh, feeling and thinking music differently and we hope that we can use music to improve people health functioning and well-being uh, before I'm going to talk about the history because it's quite boring I'm going to sing a song to you guys um, first and this is a hello song hello song is very important in our sessions because it create a security uh, 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 a structure of this uh, uh, lessons and also it create safe and security to our students especially for um, kids who have um, 
who are uh, a, 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 um, autism or they have a uh, SCN um, or, or they are uh, with SCN special needs education is children. So uh, this is the hello songs I was saying. I learned it uh, when I was in Australia. So, um, hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone and how are you today? Hello, hello, hello. Hello Alison. Hello Alison. Hello Alison and how are you today? Hello Sophie, hello Sophie, hello, hello Sophie, and how are you today? So it's a very simple hello song, uh, we always use this song to do a greeting and sing hello and especially to encourage them to, um, to have the eye contact and you know like wave your hands and show show and you try hello hello everyone with the cute song <laughs> yeah it's simple but in these songs you can find that um we use the songs to encourage them to doing you know wave your hands you know show your intentions but also the last phase of the songs what i the lyrics about how are you today so we hope that the song is not only encourage them to you know not not only not only just social for social intentions, but also giving them an opportunity to expressing their emotions, their feelings about today. Some of the students, some students, they find very difficult to express their feelings, even though just happy and sad. Maybe because they are. They have difficulty to exp to 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 say it out or to I identifying the emotions, but also for some students, some student they may they may be you know they if they are nonverbal students they can't speak, and you know the music is one of the way that they can use the drum, or you know picking the pictures to express what they are feeling right now. So music is a non-verbal communication as well. The National Association for Music Therapy was founded um, uh, in New York City in 1950, and it started to have uh, developing the standard of the university level of university level educational and clinical training requirements, and also it started to have research and clinical training in the associations and the research and clinical uh at uh, the clinical journal is very important in our professions there are different approach of music therapy such as psychodynamic psychodynamic approach behavioral approach humanistic approach and ecological approach etc and for me i more tend to a um humanist approach so humanistic perspective is for persons to focus on their strength rather than their weakness. So in humanistic humanistic approach, they believe that when we helping our participant or client or student to develop their strength, and it will naturally overcome their weakness. So for example, if they love music, so one of my clients in special school. He loved music so much. He loved banging the drum. Actually, he doesn't know how to play the drum, but he loved banging the drum. He, because he always um, uh, always watch the YouTube and you know see a band and you know he imagine himself is a drummer and bang a drum. But he has an emotional problem and he has difficulty to speak as well. He is a non-verbal uh, student. So what I do with with him in the music therapy sessions, I. I arrange a drum kit, a drum set, into uh, and move it into a school in the music room, and, and let him play the drum by by himself. And you know, uh, he can't play the standard. You know, he don't know how to play drum, but they, he can bend and he enjoy it. He imagine himself is a drummer. And what I'm doing, I use the guitar. 
So when he's banging drum, I use the guitar and I sing with him. And he loved the songs from uh, uh, I don't know whether you you know the the band is called Beyond. So so I sang the beat, the songs that in Cantonese with him, and he banged the drum. So like um, uh, 今天我寒夜里看雪飘过，怀着冷却了的心窝，飘如火。So when he banged the drum, I sang his favorite songs, and through the process, he. Um, engage. He built an engagement relationship with drum, and he start to express that feeling, his feeling through the drum, because he's a non-verbal student, so he can't speak. But why play the drum physically, feeling the drum and the tensions, and listen to the singing? He start releasing the emotions through the drum. And so this is the one of the example about the humanistic humanistic approach. We looking at what he can do, but we don't. We we are not trying to practice or train what he are not able to do. Um. So here are the international applications of music therapy. So from the newborn to、uh, children, kids, uh, and mental health issues and. Cancer patient, etc., etc., etc. I'm going to talk about how to、uh, not you know like if you don't know music instruments, like you you don't know any music back, you don't have any music background or music instrument skills, and how you can、um, co incorporate music activity in your classroom. Yep, I'm going to talk about it, it later. And and in music therapy, we do assessment, goal setting, planning, and evaluations. And there's one very important thing is、uh, all client can enjoy. They don't. It doesn't have. They don't have to. They don't need to have any musical background and instrument background. They can participate in music therapy sessions, and the music therapy sessions has to be conducted by registered and qualified music therapists. So, which means that today I'm not going to teach you how to use music therapy activity into your classroom because in our ethics, it need to be conducted by. Qualified music therapist, but I'm going to tell you how to use purposeful music activities, so not music therapy, into a classroom, and so that people can enjoy and singing and playing the music together. Right now, you can find the music therapist, a music therapist registered in Australia, America, Canada, and British. So these are the four main countries. Uh, 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 the music therapists have to、uh, go there, go go to overseas and study music therapy, to finish the master of music therapy, and register in the local associations. So how music therapists use music? We have four type of、uh, interventions. One is improvisations. So improvisation is a spontaneous spontaneous engagement with music. With music, so we are now the participant to play the music and improvise、uh, right now. So here and now, so at this moment, and so it's not a recording, it's not、uh, it's not a recorded music, it's not、uh, uh, you know you, you don't have to think too much. You just play the music, and the creation is we create the songs for our client, or we create the songs together with our client. So we do the songwriting together. With the students, the recreations means that we use the familiar songs for our student. So, for example, we use、um, our familiar children songs like、uh, "If You're Happy and You Know It, Clap Your Hands." Pop, pop. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Pop, pop. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Pop, pop. So we use the familiar songs to for、uh, address the the needs of the client, and receptive method is a passive method, which means、uh, which means that they、uh, sitting they sit down and you know just listen to the music and we do the imaginations and and discussions together. So why music? Why we use music when the brain is at rest? You can see it's on the left hand side, but when the brain is engaging 
when we are engaging with the music, especially we are participating. We are not just listening. We are participating. We're jamming. We're playing. When we're singing, the brain react react different. You can see it stimulate our whole brain. So one of the first things that happens when music enters our brains is to is the triggering the pleasure centers and release the dopamine, and it makes us feel happy and present. And that's why people and our student, or actually everyone, love music because when we listen to our favorite songs, or when we are participating our favorite music, like jamming or singing, we feel happy. In neurologic music therapy theory, and how we see why music is very effective is because engaging music has been shown to facilitate neuroplasticity. Therefore, it is a positive influence quality of life and overall functioning. Research has shown that the music activates cognitive, motor, and speech centers in the brain through assessing shared neural system. So they share the neural system with music, and that's why when we use music, we can reach. And also, we can motivate or stimulate our attentions, our memory, our uh, 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 motor, etc. And how so? So how is therapy in early childhood for developmental stimulations? Early childhood is uh, the period from birth to eight years old, and it's time of a remarkable growth and brain development. And in a typical developmental stimulations, music therapy is used to enhance and develop the social skills, communication skills, and uh, uh, the self-expressions, sense, sensory and motor skills as well. And if the parents is here, we hope that we also helping the parents to facilitate the parents and child bonding as well, to build up the security between the parents and the children as well. So here is the video. to play but he don't know how to use the finger right he's trying to play and so I'm helping him to play uh, strumming on the guitar and uh, so he exploring uh, he's just one years old boy and he is uh, exploring the sounds of the guitar and when he strum the guitar and the feedback and the music feedback it comes immediately so when strum dun 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 and it sounds come immediately. So it's a reward. It's a reward of music. It's music as a reward for children uh, uh, to participate in the music activities. Um, music therapy is can be also like it, it used for early childhood special education as well. And it support children with dependent uh, uh, children with different mental delays, uh, disabilities or special needs and their families as well. And is about to taking actions as early as possible to support children and families in order to promote the, the to promote the development and well being, and also the community participations. So the research showed that music therapy can is provide a important therapeutic benefit for families in the areas of early parenting, child development, and. Um, and the uh, uh, and the well-being as well, and the general goals of music therapy is there's a, some example. So we provide an opportunity for them to express themselves, to increase their eye contact and greet uh, and social skills, increase their attention span as well, and also increase their self-esteem, etc. Uh, especially for students with physical disabilities, they 
they always have very low self-esteem because they know they are they have uh, limitation in their uh, uh, mobility. So um, we use the music to build up and also to encourage them to build up their to increase their self-esteem and to find his strength and find his role in the classroom as well. And there are some music therapists that use music therapy for IEP individual education plan uh, education plan as well. And music therapy on IEP can address long musical goals including but not limited to not limited to the cognitive goals like uh, identifying the numbers, the colors, the letters, counting, uh, the time, um, the calendar concept, etc. Uh, the behavioral goals such as self-regulations, attention, focus, uh, for the communication goals like answering uh, where, what, who, when, why. And also we use the music to uh, increase their fo uh, vocabulary development uh, and how to request, how to, how to requesting and how to labeling. And also there's some life skills goes at school as well, like, um, like how to have a uh, appropriate manners and um, safety in the classroom or in, in, their, uh, and in, in their life as well. Which student can be benefit most from music therapy? I would say everyone can benefit from the music therapy, but um, in a school, I, I always talk to the teachers uh, if you in referring if you are going to refer student like uh, uh, to music therapy, like uh, for example, one to one or in group, I would say uh, you can refer the kids with special needs or the student who has very low motivations or who has emotional issues or they have the lack of social and communication skills. So these are the students that I would suggest you can refer to uh, qualified music therapists. Um, and this is the humanistic perspective uh, approach. Uh, we look at the strength. So when we are trying to apply the purposeful music activity in classroom, to so I would suggest the humanistic purpose, uh, perspective is very important in the classroom. So we are not judging or criticizing the ability. We are finding our student strength. So we can um, include everyone in the music, and these the keys. So this is the example how music therapist working with early childhood and kids with special needs by Sarah. Okay, so this is what music therapists do in the sessions or in the classroom. They use the music to giving and 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 and, and giving the instructions, and everyone can follow and join, and you know, um, and also they we will also invite um, uh, our student to give us some idea what our what is our next actions. So if they want to, you know, play up high, they want to play down low, or they want to jump, they want to turn around. So we can, like, with, in the music, we can, we can, you know, like we can change the the music and the lyrics, and so everyone can participating, participate, participating into the music together, and everyone have a chance to do the choice making and have a chance to 
um, you know, uh, to 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 be a leader in a group. And this is the Bune music method, and uh, uh, they use a special instruments from Sweden, and they uh, because the instrument is very uh, it's easier to play. It's like uh, it's a uh, 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 you know very flexible and easy playing guitar, spring back guitar, and so that uh, the the kids is not only it's not only um, you know just uh, do the music movement, but they can also playing the real guitar together because of a uh, very accessible and easier design guitar. So uh, you can see, you can have a look. Of that. It's very easier to manage for kids, for students, and they just have a strum like this. So you can put it on the table or on the floor and strum. So for me, I can play like a real guitar. So twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world, so high, like a diamond in the sky. So this is the Bune string bar guitar, and so some teachers they may think oh, it's very difficult to learn a new instrument, like uh, uh, learn a real guitar, like uh, you know the standard guitar, not real guitar, it's standard guitar, right? Because it's very painful, but uh, you know you can explore some new instruments that uh, can help you, uh, um, you know, make it like easier for you to make the live music, and. And this is the Bune music uh, in Hong Kong. So you can see so you the color, you do the conducting. So they are practicing. <laughs> yes, guitar is very painful, right? Uh, so we have red. We have yellow and green, and the music therapist and the music facilitator use the color to use the color to uh, conducting the whole um, uh, guitar ensemble. And one of the key is we bring our uh, students from the classroom to the community. So um, this is one of one of the example they performing in the community in Christmas time. So this is one of the example we build up the self confidence, self esteem, and also um, uh, you know like uh, their strength, and from the classroom, uh, practicing, and to the community. Even though there there's some kids inside, they uh, there's some kids in the group they are they have uh, ASD, and you know they still have an opportunity to um, opportunity to. Uh, Performs and pa participating in a community um, music concert. Um, why, why should uh, preschool and kindergarten teachers care about music therapy? Because it's very uh, because uh, we have different uh, strength, even like teachers and music therapists. Teachers is their strength is to focus on the students' learning. And they are very good at classroom management when their teacher is there. And the music therapist, their strength is to facilitate music expressions. And 
also engaging everyone in music in one song. So it's like a cooperation. So if you have opportunity, you have funding uh, to reach out qualified music therapists, I would encourage you to you know talk to the music therapist, consult them, and you 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 got a chance to you know ha have maybe uh, work together and 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 you know like um, you know like play the music uh, like invite the music therapist, qualify the music therapist to play the music uh, with you and the children into class. And it's, the cooperation is very important because uh, we have different kind of skills and. I, and when we are when we are cooperating, it can maximize the outcome, the learning outcome, and also the therapeutic outcome. Kids love music because they feel secure, and music is structural. I'm I'm going to talk about why music is structural in later. And music is a non-verbal communications, and it increases our attention span. It draws our attentions, and in just one second, and music is very flexible. We can change the lyrics, change the uh, tempo uh, immediately. And music is motivate us to learn. And it also increases the problem solving ability and it facilitates imaginations and creativities. Imagination and, creativ and creativities are the key components that how our students learn when they are when they are just uh, when they are in in kindergarten, so everyone respond to music and uh, uh, what we call is music trial. Uh, so look at this. Just one year old boy and how he respond to music. I must be So, uh, Lofter Robbins, music therapist, uh, uh, they believe that uh, everyone responds to music and it affects our minds, bodies, and feelings. And everyone has um, musical trials. And musical trial is a lateral response to the sound and music stimulations. And we don't have to learn how to respond to music. And it's because it, it can be respond nat laterally. So, when we listen to music, and you know we actually we want to move our body we want to sing and for children because they don't have any boundary they just want to uh you know uh, be happy every day and so that's why they don't have any mindset about oh i can't move your body because it's not polite i can't sing because i can't do this i can't do that and 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 it shows that everyone has a musical 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 child everyone can respond to music but when we are adults, uh, because of you know the system and also because of the uh, you know uh, manner, and then we don't respond to, uh, we don't shake our body with the music. Uh, yeah, we're trying to control ourselves actually. I'm trying to control ourselves. Okay, so um, now I'm going to talk about the purposeful music activities in early childhood. And there's some activities that are prepared today, and I can see there's a lot of a lot of questions and and in the chat room, and I'm going to um, uh, 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 talk about this in the Q and A sessions. Um, yep. So we are going to talk about the green songs, and also how to use familiar songs to uh, facilitating vocalizations, and how to use music to increase the attention span in a fun way you know in a play in a music like in a fun and playful uh, 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 way and also i will introduce the songs a roll over your boat and how to use these songs to uh to encourage the movement as well so this an example there's a lot of songs we can use but there's just there there's uh, there there are 
there are just some examples that uh, for today, and also the creativity and how to uh, use the science around us. That like uh, how how can we um, use the familiar songs and also uh, use the songs to encourage the student to explore the sounds and the instruments uh, in the classroom. Uh, one of the key um, thing is doing music activity is not equal to music therapy. I'm going to share with you the music activities but not music therapy uh, because in our ethics we can't teach and tell people oh this is the music therapy intervention in our ethics we can't do this but we can share purposeful music activities to everyone so this is the green songs that we sing at the beginning oh, i use this i can use this so um so we can fill in the bank and to call the name and also, they can tell us what they feeling today. So sometimes we use the emotion, no, uh, like the emotional uh, emoji, so the, the label, so that they can express their feelings. So they can choose. So I feel happy. I'm scared. I'm sad. I'm angry, etc. So I'm going to sing one more time of this song, and let me see who is here. Uh, Okay, help. Oh. Okay, let's go. Hello, so today Sophie and so he she's going to tell us do you feel happy or sad today and you know like of she's course nervous. Can... she's nervous today she's, she's nervous okay oh, she, she's yeah. nervous okay she I, I'm feeling nervous so, but then <laughs> and and yeah so we can invite everyone in the classroom to sing but if your classroom have like more than 20 students it's take so you know a lot of the, it, it take too, too, too long for you to sing every name. So you can sing. So you can change the lyrics like, "Hello everyone, hello everyone, hello everyone, and how are you today?" And so tell me, so give me, so who is feeling happy today? And so they can, you know, I'm happy or who are scared today? And then they can show you, oh, I'm scared. And who are nervous today when I sing this song? And I'm nervous. So they can respond and to the music and they can make choice by themselves. And of course, you can invite the student to sing the hello song with you and ask him to invite other people. So I'm going to invite uh, uh, a father to say hello, and so I was. I would ask, oh, who do you want to say hello for the uh, for today's lessons? The first one, who who want to say hello first? I want to say hello to Eric. Eric, okay. So we sing together, Fado. Hello, Eric. Hello, Eric. Hello, Eric. And how are you today? Yep, so we can invite student to sing with you and he can invite other students and and then um, go like um, one by one and go and go on. It's, it's, it's like a turn to king and also encourage them to social, to interact with others. In a classroom, uh, you know, they, must, they, they may have some good friends they always talk to, they play with. They may also have some friends they not always play with or talk to. Maybe they don't you know, maybe because of, um, you know, the interests, the hobbies, or they don't have a chance to interact. But through the songs, through the hello songs, you can give them an opportunity to interact to someone they not always, um, you know, they, they haven't, uh, they're not always talk to or they, they're not very friend with them. And, and you may ask if you can't play guitar, 
how to use these songs in the classroom, right? You, you can just sing. I, I will encourage you to sing. And and because for the for um for the student they don't they won't judge you saying are you saying good or saying bad. They just seeing you, they just love you singing. They don't have a mindset that oh you sing so bad and you can't sing in tune. They don't have that kind of thinking. And of course, if they say it, and then we we say that oh we have to accept everyone. You know, like I even though I know I'm not a good singer, but because of you, I would like to sing for you, because I want to show my love, show my um, uh, caring to all of you. So even though I'm not a good singer, but I would like to sing the hello song to say hello to everyone and to invite you to sing with me as well right so if you are if you can't play any instruments you can use shakers you know shakers or some um um drum you know a drum or you, even you just clap your hands okay clap your hands sing uh, so like hello uh hello sui Hello, Sui. Hello, Sui. And how are you today? Okay, you can just sing with the instruments by just clapping your hands with your voice. And yep. Is it alright? So, can you all remember the songs? How it sounds like? Can you remember? Can you remember? Oh, it's simple, right? It's not too difficult, right? Okay. Okay, good. So when we have hello song and we have goodbye song. So again, for the start of the sessions or lesson, we sing hello song and for and for the at the end of the lesson we sing goodbye song. It creates a security and expectations for our students, especially for children with special needs. They need to know what coming next. In a classroom, sometimes they feel insecure because they don't know what is going to be happen in the next minutes, like five minutes or ten minutes. But when you sing the hello songs, when they're familiar to the hello song, they know it's going to start. And when they listen to a goodbye song many times, they know that when we sing the goodbye song, it's going to the end and we can have a break or we can have another lesson. So goodbye songs is very important to indicate and give and given the the um uh, uh, expectation and concept to the student is going to the end so how to sing the goodbye song this one is same melody i choose the same melody but in different lyrics so that easier for you to remember goodbye um kingman goodbye kingman goodbye kingman and thanks for the music today Or oh, uh, Goodbye everyone Goodbye everyone Goodbye everyone And thanks for the music today Yeah, and oh, I can see you wave your hands And good looking And you know, and I'm so happy and thanks for your music, uh, thanks for your, um, you know, editing. You can change the effects as well, but I, I would say that thanks for your music because we always uh, invite them to participate in the, into the music. Yep. So we have hello songs, we have goodbye songs for social skills. I'm going to the next activities, um, which is called um, Free the Banks. Actually, it's, it's not called Free the Banks, but it's uh, it's, it's more easier to for you to understand. Um, we use the struck the familiar music, so they what the music they love, they know the best, and we use the we use the lyrics, and then we take out one of the words and invite them to fill in the bank. So this concept, and in order to facilitating and encourage them to vocalizations so vocalize and talk and sing together especially for actually uh, for the special needs uh, student they don't love to talk but you know if because music is structural so when you when you take out the lyrics 
they want to complete the music and they want to complete the words. So like this. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Yeah, I can see your mouth. <laughs> Uh, up, uh, like up above the world, so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so uh, when you turn on the camera, I can see you singing. And but if you are not, um, not um, you can't turn on the camera. I encourage you to sing, uh, in your place, and you can feel the music because we need to feel it. We need to feel the structure. So when I don't sing the the last work, and then you really really want to complete it because if I don't sing, it, so twinkle twinkle little. Okay, it's the end. And then you feel very struggle, frustrated, and you know, oh, why you you have to sing the start to complete the structure? And this is the power of the music, because music is structural. When we take out the words, and we really want to complete it, because we familiar to the melody, we get used to the tempo, uh, the, the 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 lyrics, the melody, and. Um, the songs as well. Uh, so uh, you have to choose their favorite song, their familiar songs. It's very important. And take out the last words. The last word is the most easiest way to facilitating vocalizations. Okay. So uh, another example. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine, you make me happy when skies are grey. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Yep. So, uh, uh, again, if we don't know how to play instruments, we can just sing um, the song. I don't think that uh, play, uh, playing the recorded music is. Um, I, I would say like um, uh, you, it's better for you to sing by yourself instead of playing the recorded music because when you play the recorded music on on even the music player or YouTube or CD. They won't. They will sing the lyrics like um. You know, they they won't stop. You know, they they don't take out the. They they doesn't have a have a function that take out the last word and ask them to fill in the bank. So I would say, uh, it's better for you to sing by yourself. So just clap your hands, and like um A B C D E F. H I J K L M O Q R S T U W X Y N. Now I know my A B. Next time, won't you sing with me? Like this. This strategy works for children with ASD so well. Yep. And there's another activity you you don't need to you don't need to um uh, know how to play instruments, but you can play with them. You just need a drum, you know, a, a African drum or jimbe, and um and also they have their own instruments as well. So uh, remember, I uh, um I I I I invited you all to um, bring your own instruments or something that can make noise or even just you know pens or chopstick and that's fine uh, I hope that in these sessions I'm going to invite you to join me together because it's very simple it just go and stop 
Okay, so when I say go and then you just bam 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 and when I say stop and can you just stop, okay? So this is the step one, okay? Three, two, one, go! And stop. And go! And stop. And go! And stop. Yep, like this. So it's just go and stop. And you can be very fast. I would like to go very fast. And stop. And then I'm, rec I'm going to do very slow. And very slow. And then very loud. And very soft. Soft. And then go and stop. Yep, so this is go and stop activities. And it, it draw the attention from the student and coming together and play the music. Of course, uh, you can invite the student to be a leader. Okay, they can be the leader to say go and stop. Even though they are... But uh, but you need to know their ab ability. So um, like uh, for SCN student, you need to know the ability. Are they able to uh, uh, say go and stop? And uh, are they really familiar to the activity? But if we don't invite the student with special needs, we can invite other students to be a leader so that they can use the music to engage with others, to interact with others without any pressure and ability limitations because in the music we everyone can join in and play equally so this is go and stop and there's a uh, more uh, this is more fun funny um and we can sing this song this more fun way like this uh shake 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 can you shake with me? So shake your instrument, shake, 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 shake. Can you shake with me? You bam, 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 bam. Can you bam with me? Bam, 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 bam. Can you bam with me? And stop. And go. And shake, 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 shake. Can you shake with me? Shake, 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 shake. Can you shake with me? Shake, 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 shake. Can you shake with me? Shake, 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 shake. Can you shake with me? And stop. And go. And go and stop. So this one is jingle bells, but we change the lyrics to shake or bang. You know, if they have a shakers, everyone sh shake the shakers and you shake together. If they have a drum, you know, bang the drum. You know, you can change the lyrics in, and you can just simply uh, sing without play any you know just playing the drum you know by, 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 by yourself if you can play guitar and piano and it will be great and even though if you want to play the music on YouTube and this is all right as well because you can just play and stop right you can just play and pause play and pause but I would say using the live music is better because it's more engaged is it create uh, better engagement and more lively to others. So, uh, live instruments not limited to guitar or bunny guitar or piano, but also you know you can just clap the hands, bend the drum, shakers, and uh, someone asked how to make the shakers, and this one is very simple. I think everyone know how to make it. I just put the beans into a bottle, and you know it can be a shaker, and we can do, we can make the instruments together 
with students as well, so that everyone can have their own instruments and then participate into the music activities. So this is the go and stop. And then, then after that is uh, the motor, the music and movement. And roll, roll, roll your boat is a very good song to encourage them to move their body. Because like in music, we, we talk about six, eight. So it's not one, two, three, four. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Bam, bam. Okay, we swing a body. One, two, three, da, da, da. Bam, 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 bam. So like this. So um, this one encourage them to sing and move the song, like moving with the songs. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merry. Life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merry. Life is but a dream. Bum, 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 Merrily, 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 merry. Life is but a dream. Dum ta ta pum ta ta pum ta ta pum pa pa. They can hold their hands with the friends, right? Holding in pairs. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Or in a big group. Merrily, 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 merry. Life is but a dream. Life is but a dream. So this song is in six eight, and when you learn how to sing, and it naturally can uh, helping uh, uh, like uh, for us to move our body. So step by step, you can sing with them to like teach them how to sing the song first. And then while singing, when you are singing, you invite them to swing, shuffle their body, swing their body, left and right, or front and back, in and out, right? And then sing the song together. And imagine like all the children singing together, moving their body and, and 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 yeah and the picture is very beautiful and and in music therapy we always talk about singing is one of the uh is, is one of the most lateral tools and media for us to connect to others because because when we sing we are not just singing the words but we are you know we are expressing our feelings and also we're listening to others and then we make the harmony and and sing together. So it's like um, it's quite expressing and um, and also um, I would say it's quite therapeutic uh, feelings, a therapeutic process. It's not professional words, but you know, like you you feel the mood and the feeling while singing together. Okay, and the last activity. I because I want to uh, save some time for Q and A, so I'm going to the last activity. Is the sun's explorations. Um, um, we can invite our students to explore different kind of suns in the classroom, and also we can invite them to go back. Like when they go home, they can, you know, uh, maybe find their something to find something that can make some noise and sounds and ask them to bring it back to the uh, into, into uh, 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 to bring it back to the school and share to others for example uh, we use chopstick all right you can make the sounds as well uh, spoon all right different kind of sound all right uh, pen 
right? Pen, sounds. So let them to explore different kind of sounds. And also they can, um, you know, like uh, body percussions, right? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Use the body percussion as well. And also their voice is sounds. So we can different, we can give them different kind, different theme and topic and ask them to explore the sounds and ask them to bring back the instruments and play the music together. And of course, you can just invite them to, okay, now we are in the classroom, so how can you make a sound? We're going to play and, um, uh, you know, listen to your create, like your music together. So it's like, it's uh, explorations and it's all about the creativity and also imaginations. And there's one song that uh, you can find on YouTube called I'm Fine Musicians. And I think, and, and when you learn, I, I encourage you to learn these songs and play these songs with the student. So when they pick up instruments like this one, stickers, okay, for example, they pick up stickers, and I would say, I am a fine musician, I practice every day. People come from all around just to hear me play. My shakers, my shakers, they come to hear my shakers and shake, shake, shake. Yeah, kitchen material is a good idea. Okay, I can see there's a sh um what instruments we have right here. Let me have a look. Okay, what instruments we have here? I can see shakers. Oh, okay, I can see a bottle, a pen. Okay. Okay, that's great. Two, three. I am a fine musician. I practice every day. People come from all around just to hear me play. My bottle, my water bottle. They come to hear my bottle and bam, 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 and bam, 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 and bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Very nice. And I am a fine musician, I practice every day. And people come from all around just to hear me play. Pencil, my pencil, my pencil, they come to hear my pencil. Pam, 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 da, 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 Okay, I am a fine musician. I practice every day. And people come from all around just to hear me play. Hear my guitar, my guitar, my guitar. They come to hear my guitar. Strum, 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 strum my guitar. Strum, 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 and strum my guitar. Okay, everyone. Okay, join me the music. Okay, play the music. Shake your shakers, bang your bottles, and make the sound together. I am a fine musician. I practice every day. People come from all around just to hear me play. My guitar, they come to hear my guitar. My shakers, my shakers, they come to hear my shakers. Bam bam bam, oh bam bam bam, bam bam bam, oh bam bam bam, bam bam bam, oh bam bam bam, bam. Stop. Yeah. Good listening and very, um, and very like uh, very enjoyable music. And you know, every time when we play the music and 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 when we observe something they are doing good, we say, "Oh, good singing, good playing, good eye contact." I know you're looking at me, and you know, like uh, I know you're trying your best. You know, everything like uh, a positive reinforcement. Is very, positive reinforcement is very important to our students as well. So uh, when we play the music, when we doing sessions or even teachings, and 
and you know always we we are, we have you know many sense in a in a in, in here you know oh I can observe here observe here and then we we um, acknowledge and um, and also name and and appreciate what they are doing and this is very important is sometimes it's is more important than the activity because we are building up the relationship with our student. As a music therapist, we're building up a therapeutic relationship with our student. Uh, but as a teachers, we build up a you know, teacher and student relationship. And with a good relationship, and they uh, will be more enjoy and more. Uh, uh, I think it's motivate them to learn because. Uh, uh, it's very. Uh, I always say. I always said that um, as as a music therapist, we have a lot of patients, right? We meet many patients a day, and uh, but for a student or client, they may only have one good teacher or one good therapist at that time at the moment. So we are always trying your be our best to give the best uh, pack with passions uh, as a teamwork and. And you know, and love and caring to our students. And music is wonderful media. Uh, it's a universal language. It's a non-verbal media, and everyone can join as well. Um, yeah, and this is uh, my presentations today. Yeah, this is my presentation today. Hope you all enjoy. And if you have any questions about music therapy. And you can reach me by the email, and I'm happy to share with you more of my uh, experience. And also, we learned uh, uh, with each other as well. Yeah. And thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Kim Mang, for your sharing. I think everybody is saying in the chat how how much they have enjoyed your sharing today. You have been already answering to most of the questions that we were already typing on the chat. So thank you so much. In the interest of time, given that it's a little bit late, I propose that if someone has any burning questions that you really need to ask uh, Kim Man, please go ahead and get in touch with him because I wouldn't like to keep this too too long, right? So it was really wonderful to, to listen to you. And we can also, do, we can always do a um, version two. If there is a lot of interest, please let us know, right? So something else I want to say before we close, I would like to give special thanks to Miss uh, Sophie Chua, who is here with me in the office. Uh, she has been really the one really helped me very, very much organizing this session, coordinating with Kim Mang, really helpful. So thank you so much to Sophie for her help uh, coordinating this session today. So here we have um, all kinds of social media that we are using to communicate um, with, um, with, with the East Early Childhood Education sector, right? So we use LinkedIn, we use Twitter, as you can see here, WeChat, Instagram, Facebook, all kinds of social media for you to follow what we do and the kind of events that we organize in our department. So please follow us on social media to stay in touch and to stay also updated on the kinds of events and things that we are doing, right? So thanks very much everybody for your time today. It was really good to see you here and see you next time. All right, Kimang, thank you so much. It was wonderful and stay in touch with you as well. All right. Thank you, Stanger. Yep. Thank you so All much. Right. Thank you. Enjoy your, your day today. Bye bye, everyone. Bye.